everyone, welcome back to our franchise zoo and happy Friday. My name is Savannah. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Our franchise zoo is a tropical zoo that we are trying to focus on bringing in not the highest genetic animals to see if we can breed them up to be better um, and still be profitable and make money in hard mode. And so far it's going very well. You can see we have lots and lots of money down here. In our last episode, we created more of an official entrance for ourselves and the start of an actual staff area here. We didn't add any animals, um, but I thought what I would do this time is in fact start off with, let me go ahead and hit play, uh, start off with placing down some more of the keeper talks because facility without power. Oh, you are just, I wonder if it's because um, a facility needs uh, maintenance? No, yes, this one right here might need might need maintenance. Yes, it does. Um, so thought we would start with placing down the keeper huts because in last episode, it was giving me a little glitch here, but you guys let me know that that might not mean that they're not working, um, but rather that it's just like giving me a heads up, like, hey, by the way, it's not working or I can't throw food or whatever. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to sink this one into here. So we'll have that be our otter talk. Um, and maybe we might do another one in here just because I'm thinking like if they do a talk outside and then a talk inside on like their diving mechanics and stuff like that. So we'll put one there and one on the other side. I also want to do one for our tortoises and I think I'm going to have to go ahead and throw it right here. I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to hide these at some point. Um, because I, I think they're actually kind of ugly. Um, I'm really excited that they're in the game, but I want to want to maybe hide them a little bit. Is this too close to put a second one if we kind of run this one? Oh, it doesn't it doesn't want to go there. Maybe over he here. Um, well, maybe we'll just do that one for now. And then for our flamingos. And I figured down here is obviously the perfect spot for our little flamingo guys. And maybe, maybe we put it, put it right, right there. Perfect. So then if we go ahead and set these up, let's double check. We don't have anybody dying here. Research is complete. Oh, yay. What did we unlock? Red-eyed tree frog, that's great because we can probably put more in their enclosure. We got, ooh, African theme and aquatic theme, perfect. Facility broken down, what else is new? Come, come, fix it. Has damaged barriers. It might be looking like we need a, a second mechanic here. Um, setting up the work zones is something that I'm gonna do in this episode. I know I've been saying it and saying it, there we go couldn't figure out where the screen was for a second. I've been saying it and saying it, um, but I mean it this time. So let's actually, let's go ahead and get, nope, staff. Let's get down two mechanics because yeah, I think I only have two. And now we have quite a few enclosures. So let's go ahead and get them. Let's double check their, excuse me, sir, before you run off and go to work, I need to possibly pay you less. Uh, yes. Perfect, and you too. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we have a couple more people on that. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, Keeper Talks. So let's go and let's start this one. Let's see, um, talk month, so it's February now, so February, that'll be in March, so then that's fine. That's fine, we'll assign it to Otters. And then, so March, April, May, we'll do this one in May. Actually, no, let's not do otters back to back. Let's do tortoise in May. Uh, yes, and I want you in May because we only have one educator. So I wanna make sure that they can get to everything. And then maybe May, June, July, we'll go over to here again. Giant Otter and July, perfect. And then 
last but not least, our little flamingos over here. And I think I'm going to give three months in between here just because it's far away. I don't know if they need it, but I just don't want it to cause any problems. So um, what did I say? July, August, September, October. This will be November. And then that works because then March is when we started it, right? So we got a little bit of time to get back over there. More vet research. Cool. Let's go see if we can add anything to their enclosure. Um, so, okay. So now that I got those going, um, let's see. It looks like, it looks like, no, this crowd was already here. Let's see. So it still says water obstructs food throw, but you guys were saying that that's okay, that it'll still, it'll still go. Yeah. Open, open, open. Great. Awesome. And we do have an educator, right? I, otherwise I'm assuming it would yell at me. Yeah. Alva, our educator. Cool. So we'll see, we'll see how that gets going. Um, actually, where is she right now? She is waiting to start animal talk. Wait, did I, I thought I did, did I not do this one first? March? Oh, I did it. Oh, maybe I started it too late. Oh, well, that's okay. So she's starting over here. Cool. And then this one, I don't think they're going to throw. Yeah, food uh, food throw path is blocked. That's okay. That's all right. So yeah, so okay, we got those going. So she'll go here, then over to there, then flamingos, and then back to otters and kind of bounce bounce around like that. So that's, that's great. I wanted to get that started. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Can we claim anything? Nope. And let's make sure... Make sure we're still making money. Oh, just barely. Just barely. So let's see if we can add anything to these guys here. Because I unlocked. Yeah, we did. Cool. So let's add all that stuff for them and all this stuff for them. And that brings up their, their welfare quite a bit. Um, because then hopefully once these guys start breeding, um, they can kind of uh, make us a little bit more money. Um, and then I also had an idea for these. I want to, um, I saw somebody else, I, th I think it was somebody else did this, um, put them in the wall. And I thought it was a really, really good idea. So I wanted to try it. Let's see. Does it work? It does. So if we add it like right here, I think that looks kind of cool. Just something different, you know? Yeah, I like that. So then if we do this and we bring this one across, we can do the same thing for our little froggy friend. Little froggy friend. There we go. Great. So still get some education, but just makes it look a little different. Yeah, I like this. And then what I'm actually thinking now that I looked at the entrance too, is I kind of want to raise this up just a little bit, had, add some height variation in that. Um, but overall, the zoo's going pretty well. Um, I mean, there's trash in the center of the floor. You made it. Good job. And you just walked right... Oh, you're, you're a mechanic. Sorry. <laughs> it's the caretaker's fault. The caretaker's the one that needs to pick that up. It's not his fault. I br blamed him prematurely. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking today, uh, really wanting to focus... Oh, that was my brain kind of going back and forth. I want to focus on the otter habitat, but I also want to focus on the flamingo habitat. And I'm also thinking that we should just, we should get something done um, as far as like, like finishing up something. So let's go ahead. I know these guys need a hard shelter. Their uh, welfare is still okay without it, but it'll just really help. So let's see. Oh, that's what I was waiting for. Let's see. Did we unlock the mud pillar? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's see what we can't do with this and see if we can get this in the center of here and kind of make a beautiful little uh, cupboard space. For anyone that caught our very first live stream last Sunday, thank you so, so much. It was such an incredible um, turnout, such an incredible uh, support from you guys. It just, it really was phenomenal. I, I couldn't believe um, 
uh, how much fun it was. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I had so, so much fun um, streaming. So thank you. And, and for those of you interested in catching something in the future, um, the official stream schedule is every other Sunday for now. Um, but I did enjoy it so much that uh, I might very quickly uh, kind of increase that because it was it was so much fun. And um, I really, really enjoyed getting to, to talk with you guys and, and hang out and, you know, have some fun, have, have some fun building stuff. Um, so yeah. So like I said, thank you so much. If you were somebody that, uh, hung out with me and hung out with the community, cause it was, it was a ton of fun. Let's see, do something really simple like that, I guess. And if we raise this up so that they have, actually, let's get this more in the center. Cause this is, this is not in the center, not in the center at all. There we go. So raise that. How tall are you, Flamingo? There we go. Raise that up. And then I always like to cover these ones because as much as I love this uh, thatched roof, I am not a huge fan of the, um, what's it called? The bamboo color. Um, that's kind of why when I use the bamboo in um, the entrance for the little fences, I used the recolorable version um, because then I can change it to like a brown color or so. And I don't know, I'm just I'm just not a not a fan of the, the color of the bamboo. Um, but I really like the texture on the roof of this. So let's see if we can make this work. I'm, uh, to be honest, kind of really bad at the, what's it called? Rotational symmetry. Um, stuff, making circles and whatnot. I, it's not my forte at all. Um, even still here, you know, I could have done this and let's do that. Perfect. And then if we copy this, put it back and switch it. And then if we should be able to take this away and rotate this, let's see if it worked. And then we got to do some pillars so that our thing is not a uh, floating. Yeah. Give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a shelter there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get this centered. Centered as best we can. And I don't I don't think this will interfere with the keepers filling it up or anything like that. So do that. And then if we take um, oh no, habitat. We take one of these and put this on here. Mm. I guess that looks okay, right? It's just for the little flamingos and this is not going to be anywhere near what they need. But Oh, okay. It's half of what they need. Great. Because then what we can do is we can always, um, we can always just duplicate it. So this is all in one group. Except for this little thing. Let's go ahead and make that one group. Awesome. So then we can duplicate this and maybe put another one over here so that they have some shelter. And that should be voila. Tada. Look how easy. Okay, great. All that waiting. Animal is starving. Why are you starving? The keeper's right here. Hmm, dramatic. Let's see, vet research is complete. Uh, more froggy stuff, great. And then is it just all about the flamingos? Yeah, you just relax. The keeper is right there. Look at that. Maybe we need another keeper too. Let's see, how many keepers do we have? Oh, we only have two keepers. We absolutely need new keepers. I'm gonna add three of them can tell that I am definitely, uh, definitely a builder because I always forget. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Wait, don't walk away. I have to pay you less. Uh, where'd our third one go? There you are. Definitely a builder because, uh, when it comes to playing, I, why did you attract protesters? You're in the process of eating. Look at that. I guess that is the part of being on hard mode, right? Is they, it, it happens so quickly um, that protesters come, but that's okay. More research. Let's see if we can add, go away. They're already, uh, go away. They're already fine. Go away. They're already fine. 
<laughs> I actually didn't know you could pick these guys up and like move them around like this. Actually sort of kind of convenient for in a sense of if you want them gone. I don't know if this is helping or making things worse. <laughs> but uh, I imagine that it's helping. Go away. They're fine. They got their food. Let's see. Let's make sure. Let's go check on all our animals now that we think about it. Um, let's sort by welfare. Oh, these guys are actually kind of low. Let's see what's going on with them. Um, enrichment. Okay, so these guys are getting uh, getting sick of their enrichment. Let's see what else we have as far as tortoises go and see if we can't get them something else. So Aldebra and Galapagos. I passed it. There we go. And go to enrichment items. What in here do they not have? So they have the ball. They have the ball. They have the, what is this? Frozen block. They don't have the rubber ducky. So let's go ahead and give them a rubber ducky. Like that. They don't have an ice ball either. So we can give them an ice ball. And then I don't think, do they? Oh, they do have one of these things. Let's see. Um, I don't think they have this one. So let's go ahead and give them this one because that's um, a food one. And then do they have a sprinkler? No, they don't have a sprinkler, so we can put a sprinkler back over there. So then I imagine that these guys are getting over their enrichment as well. Yeah, so let's take away that. Ooh, that's stinky. Take away that. Oh, they have a little scent thing. So let's give these guys... Oh, they have one. Let's get rid of that. Um... Did they have a sprinkler? Now I've forgotten. That's okay if they did. We'll just give them a sprinkler. We'll give them a little ducky. Oh, why is that one blue? Does it change color every time you pick it up? Weird. Why? I know it's recolorable. But why did it change to blue? That's interesting. Let's give them the ice block. And maybe the ice block feeder like so. Is that good for you guys? Are you happy little tortoises? Let's see. Food enrichment. We don't have much in the way of food enrichment, unfortunately, so maybe I will just give them this little thing back. Yeah, that works. And then how about you guys? Uh, food enrichment. But you have... Oh no, I didn't give them the little ball. Okay, so let's put that back and let's put this back. And I guess, I guess they want this too. Is there more research? Whoa. Is there more <laughs> research we can do for the tortoises? What are you climbing for? Bugging out a little bit. Um, yeah, if there's more research we can do for the tortoises, um, but I don't, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, so that's, that's about it. That's all we can do. That's okay. They're happy now. So that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and look at any other animals. So these guys right here, what's your issue? Uh, enrichment again, species toy enrichment. So we did get more research for them. Uh, wrong button over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of those two and take a look at species and giant, uh, otter right here um so let's see they need they need toy enrichment uh toy oh great so we do got stuff for them that is awesome let's go ahead and put that there and maybe this in the water here and they have a rubber ducky but i think that is that's good for right now so what else do these guys have and what can we give them um I think they have pretty much everything. If I take this away, does that help? If we take away, where are our otters? Oh, there they are. If we take away, no, it doesn't do anything. I was gonna say, if we take away that the ones uh, that they that are old to them, that they're tired of, does that help? There we go, that's okay. All right, so let's double check on everybody. Now should be yes. Very happy, very well taken care of. Perfect. 
more mechanic research, that's awesome. More African theme, that's great. Oh, and we have more mechanics too, duh. We hired a couple more people. So let's see. Um, let's probably do, let's do power. And let's do barriers. Yeah, I think that'll be good, okay. So, um, like I mentioned before, let's uh, go ahead and get some work. I think I'm gonna focus on the flamingo habitat. This is the first one that we added to the zoo. Um, it's been kind of neglected and obviously left undone and all that kind of stuff over there. So I really wanna jump into, into that one in the time lapse and then see what we got going. Um, I might let it, I'm gonna let it run so that all of a sudden we got, you know, we're cloudy turning into rain, which is really not convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it run until it's nice and sunny. And then we'll jump into the time lapse and I will see you right afterwards. And what did we... I missed what that was, but that's okay. We got more mechanic research. So anyway, be right back. Hello guys, post editing Savannah here. I decided I would drop back by and talk to you guys a little bit during my time lapses um, because I felt like I didn't get to talk to you guys that much during the episode this time. So figured I would stop back by and it actually ended up not being as long as I was worried it was going to be. So at the end of the episode, I kind of do rush through it and I felt kind of bad. Um, I actually recorded this one in multiple sittings and normally I sit down and play for a couple hours or so and then put together one episode episode um, off of that, but this time I recorded the first part, including the time lapse, and then I came back the next day, um, and that's when I'm actually doing this voiceover um, and the the end part of the video. So if it seems a little uh, pieced together, that's probably why. This week really, really got away from me. I had a really kind of rough week at work uh, this week, um, just with busyness, um, nothing too terrible, just lots and lots of work, I guess. So I was caught up with that and uh, pretty tired from that. So um, yeah, so anyway, that's why I just wanted to stop by here. Uh, we're focused on the flamingo habitat today. And I wanted to let you guys know, I, I we didn't end up adding a new animal like I wanted to this episode, but I promise next episode, um, it'll be episode seven already. And I'm still kind of feeling like I'm getting in the hang of creating these franchise episodes for you, um, just as far as playing and, and uh, making making sure I'm getting enough kind of in each episode, but also just not like leaving things behind and leaving unfinished projects. So I feel like I'm kind of still juggling in between those two things, but I promise the next episode will have a new animal um, because it's about time. And I want to add the caiman, the dwarf caiman. So you'll hear me mention that at the very end because obviously I'm doing this voiceover after I've already played through the entire episode. So I will mention that when we're done, um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, if there's a overwhelming resounding uh, answer that we don't want came in, I might reconsider and think about something else, but was wanting to keep it with tropical species. Um, and then also the came in are relatively new as well. So wanted to add them in here to see how they would work. Um, but yeah, so during this time lapse, you'll see, I really wanted to finish off this wall and kind of frame in the flamingo habitat. Um, so just continuing this wall that I made out of the temple pieces along with all of the foliage and things. So I bring in a lot more plants, a lot more greenery to kind of just make a, a really um, uh, good backdrop, I guess, a really um, uh, high backdrop around the entire thing. And that way, when you're walking down, you really can't see anything else except for the flamingos. They're kind of really nicely framed um, in this little kind of dipped down enclosure. And then I'm thinking on the other side of this wall, the open grass that we're looking at behind, I might actually start to dip the zoo down um, on a slope because I really want this zoo to not be just a flat uh, surface. I want it to have hills and things like that. And I feel like that goes along with uh, in tropical places are not very flat either. So I want to uh, kind of continue that, but I added some more benches and, and things down there just because I have to remember I'm not playing in sandbox. I am playing in franchise mode. So we are gonna have things uh, like guests and needs and, and stuff like that. Um, here, I was toying with making the enclosure just a little bit smaller by adding like a kind of cut through trail path. And then I just ended up deciding it would look much better if I did like a planter area. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I use a combination of those new flexi colored rocks because we love those flexi colored rocks uh, and the tropical rocks and the temperate rocks and just kind of mix it all in. 
and just end up adding a tree. And I think that it just adds um, a little bit more to look at. Um, again, it helps frame the enclosure, but also just kind of condenses and squishes the enclosure down a bit because we didn't end up making a huge area for the flamingos. Now, as they breed, as we get more flamingos, it'll be less of an issue, but right now we don't have a lot of flamingos, so the enclosure looks pretty empty. And I was kind of struggling with a lot of the empty space that's in the enclosure, um, just all the open dirt and things like that. And they really have a low coverage need. So kind of figuring out how I can uh, best make it work uh, for, for that, for you know not going too far over on their coverage, but also making the enclosure look full and nice. But anyway, that's about the last little bit that I do. Then we are going to jump back into the real time and we did name the zoo. So stay tuned uh, in, you know, 10 seconds or so, you guys are gonna find out what we named the zoo because I will uh, show you guys that right when we jump back in. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got quite a bit of work done on our flamingo habitat during that time lapse. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out, actually. So you might have noticed, you know, I took away the shelter over here, added some more foliage, a lot more around the edge here. And now it just kind of frames everything really nicely, I think. When you walk in, it gives everything kind of a backdrop. Maybe you need to fill that in a bit more, um, but kind of draws your eye into the flamingos. Um, maybe add some more. Uh, as far as ground texture and path or um, ground texture and terrain painting goes, if I could speak words there, uh, to get the inside of that looking a little bit nicer. But yeah, so we've got that going. And then I totally forgot um, to, I actually filmed the time lapse and then uh, paused for a while and now I'm back. And then I started work on this um, and forgot to hit record. <laughs> so I uh, wanted to show this off. Our zoo finally has a name. Um, I posted about this uh, on my socials you guys. Uh, many of you did guess uh, Tali Zoo. Tali Zoo is going to be the name of our franchise zoo. Many of you guys did guess correctly on that, um, but there were a lot of other guesses as well. So thank you guys for participating in that. But yeah, I picked Tali Zoo for no other reason other than it sounds tropical to me. I have no idea what Tali is or if it's a name for something or anything like that. So you guys can let me know down below what you think. Um, but like I said, when I was thinking of a name, I needed something short uh, that would fit right here uh, as our sign entrance. So yeah, so Tali Zoo, we finally have a name. We have something to call this park. So before I wrap it up, because I feel like this is gonna be a little bit longer of an episode, I just kind of want to address what we have going over here. So we have low welfare for the otters. We have more vet research. That's exciting. Oh, okay, so more for our little um, little guys over in the uh, terrariums or whatever those are called, exhibits. Uh, oh, exhibit species claim that. That is nice. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go see what's wrong with our otters here before we attract protesters. So welfare, social, space. <gasps> Did we have a baby? Is that what happened? Hold up. Hold on. Do we? Oh, you are gonna be difficult, aren't you? Let's do it this way because I put a door in front of the habitat gate. It's gonna be a pain in the butt for me to select it, but let's go species, giant aw. Uh, oh, we didn't. How come their space is all the way down then? I didn't add anything. Critical area crowding issues. It's the same as it's always been. Okay, that might be an issue to leave for next time because I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't change anything. 
Average navigatable water depth. Yeah, I didn't change anything either. Let's see, are they able to not get over there for some reason? This might be something going on with them. Habitat, no, they can get over there. And then this right here says feet are ready. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's something I'm going to leave for next time then, um, just because I don't want to spend too much time uh, getting into that. And then many uh, guests think they're underpriced, so that's good. So let's go ahead and raise our prices here. Let's try 12 and 11. I know the difference between these two doesn't really make a difference, um, but it just... I don't know, for me, I, I think we should charge less for a child than an adult, even if it is only by a dollar. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I know it was a pretty short kind of uh, outro here after the time lapse. I uh, really wanted to make sure we could get a lot going on this enclosure here. So pretty excited with how it came out. Like I said, we've got a couple little shelters for them. Let me know if you think we should add something. I kind of liked the idea of having the coverage more natural because we are going to be in a tropical area. Um, but, you know, maybe uh, like I've mentioned before in another episode, it is going to rain a lot. So maybe we should put some sort of cover or something um, back here. I just wasn't liking like the generic kind of just blah plain structure that we had, but maybe we can revisit it um, and and look into that a little bit more. Maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll build something we can bring it in as a blueprint. Um, but next episode, guys, I am going to add another animal. I want to add the caimans um, because they're another tropical species um, and one that came in the new pack. So really do want to add that. Um, and we will get going on that next episode. And I did set up our work zones. Um, so we do officially have work zones all set up and everything, uh, as you can see here. Um, well, you can't see here, but there you go. Work zones. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, I just created a third one for no reason, but we have tortoise zone and work zone two, just because I didn't know what to call the work zone that encompassed these back two enclosures. So yes, anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you do want to keep up with the channel and future videos, and I will talk at you guys in the next one. I'm going to go before this continues to explode because we are going to handle that next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.